I was rooting for us. I was rooting for us? <laughs> welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. This week, Brat Race Season 13 got rid of their only Asian queen, so there are no more Asian queens on TV now, except for me. <laughs> and Drag Race UK did an amazing Rats musical, okay? And a couple of very upsetting eliminations. All right, so today I'm gonna to go through all of these and I'm gonna snatch and stretch the makeup looks. And this week, to pay tribute to Kamora Hall, I'm gonna do her acting challenge makeup. I'm gonna paint myself into a tree while I talk about these two shows. Right. And if that's something you wanna see, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell for post notifications. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, okay, so, Block my brows. Today, I think I'm going to abandon my scoring system, okay? It was so arbitrary anyway, and I think it was really difficult comparing the queens because, you know, I thought it was really, really objective, but I think in the end, it was it's probably more fun just to talk about them, okay? And the makeup just fluctuates so much, you know, especially they have different times to get ready. Yeah, and this week, all the makeup wasn't super, super exciting anyway. I guess the most different thing was when, um, was Komara painting herself as a tree. So I always wanted to do that, okay, like a tree or a, or a puppet kind of a makeup. So I'm going to try to do that today. So today I'm going to paint myself the colour of a tree, the colour of tree bark. Let's see whether I can make this work. Okay, so Drag Race 13. Drag Race Season 13 this week, they had acting challenges, okay? So the RuPaul Mark Channel challenges. Um, the girls were split up into three. They had to do three very, very similar acting challenges for Valentine's Day, April Fool's Day, and Flag Day. <laughs> and they had to um, play all these bizarre parts. And, and then they had the trains, trains for days, runway, okay? Which I thought was okay. When the Porkchop girls got off stage, they, they came in and the A-team, or um, the Congratulations team, were waiting for them, okay, and they got Elliot to hide, okay, that was, I thought that was quite funny, although of course it was obviously planned, they had a screen door there for him to hide behind, it gave them this kind of all-stars two behind the mirror kind of reveal, okay, so you could get this face crack from the girls and then sets up some tension between Elliot and Tamisha as well, Tamisha looked so pissed, okay, every time they showed Tamisha, Tamisha just looked like, oh, her eyes are quite scary, I wouldn't want to cross Tamisha either. Get this shirt off. This is one of my Drag Race Wilbur t-shirts, one of my favourite shirts, so let's not get this dirty. Okay, so I'm going to be painting tree up to maybe about there. First, I'm just going to go to my True Tan. Okay, I'm going to use True Tan today as my base. In, in another world, this would probably be my colour. But I always paint myself a bit whiter than usual. Yeah, and... The makeup when they were waiting was actually quite good across the board. I was actually very, very surprised. Bobbitt looked nice, okay? She did this white mask face looking thing, okay? To try to incorporate her white makeup. But her eyes are starting to look very, very samey, samey. This time she really blew it out quite a lot, okay? And I thought, I thought that was quite interesting, okay? It went, disappeared into a hairline. And um, I thought Lalari actually looked pretty good too. Lalari's eyes look stunning here, okay? Mesmerizing. Really nice big blue smoky eye. I thought, I thought she looked really, really nice. She's really adapting to the, the lights and the studio and everything. I think her makeup's looking really, really good. I think I might have misjudged her at the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Contour 2, which is really dark. Okay, I'm gonna really go ham with the contour today. And so they have this confrontation. Basically, I think it really puts a target on um, Elliot's back as well. So this is getting to be quite dark. And then the next day, they all come in. They're talking on the table. And Candy Muse starts chasing Joey J around the table. I thought that was very cute. I think I would chase Joey J around the table too. But, but Candy Muse, when she's standing next to um, Simone and Tina Burner, you can see how big her face is. Oh my god, this is a lot of real estate. She's a huge canvas, if you know. I can't imagine how much makeup she goes through. I'm going to highlight with soft beige. So RuPaul comes in and gives them the challenge, okay, and assigns the groups, okay, and when they start working on the groups, RuPaul comes into this socially distanced table chat, right? <laughs> she summons them to a table and then they're standing on either side of the table. I'm surprised they didn't, didn't put a partition up in the middle. Okay, and during the table, during the table visit, Ru is obviously enamored again with Utica, okay? She laughed and laughed and laughed when Utica was doing that face when she was asked whether she smoked weed. It's almost like Crystal Method, right? She was madly enamored and charmed by Utica. And she was really, really testing the girls. She, just, she was really putting them through the paces, right? Asking them all these really difficult questions, putting them on the spot. Really trying to shake them up. 
for, for our ice chroma black drew like these leaves so i'm going to try to do that today too okay i'll be using my contour tool also okay i'm just going to draw like these um almost like autumn leaves but i think rupaul did give some very good advice at a table read he was um, talking to tamisha iman when testing her about her share knowledge and when she found out that she really wasn't a share fan she said that you should Take something you know and apply that to something that you don't know and see whether you can bring that energy to um to do something completely new and i think that's really really good advice okay for trying new things and i'm always a proponent for trying new stuff you know and trying to challenge yourself every time i think i need to these face tapes before i start drawing these all right got my face tapes on just gonna finish drawing this leaf okay, so the leaf can act a bit like your liner And clean that up a little bit with uh, soft beige, I think. Okay, and then they went to film their acting challenges, and you can tell, right? Some of these girls, some of the girls were much better than the others. And here, I was very happy to see Got Mick try a different brow. She actually had a very a much stronger brow this time. Really looked a bit unbalanced with her her really strong makeup, and I didn't really like the way she drew her lips. During the acting challenge, I thought she could go for something a bit more natural. She looked very a bit clownish here. Just cleaning up the edges so it looks more like a leaf. Okay, I'm ready to powder. Okay, for powder today, I don't need any white. Okay, and so I'll be using my Cody Neutral. So while that bakes, I'm going to start working on my chest. Okay, got my brown colour pencil. So this is going to be my tree trunk and then I'm just going to have roots. Okay, and um, yeah, so that was the... Misery Loves Company was a Valentine's Day one. And then they had a the Flag Day challenge. Okay, the Flag Day it was quite okay. It was quite funny. Okay, who celebrates Flag Day? But I think um, it really resonated with Singapore because recently there was a really horrible homophobic rant in Singapore, right? This guy was walking by one of these cafes called Small in Singapore and he saw a pride flag there, got really angry, started fighting with, uh, with the counter staff who was deaf, okay? So maybe didn't hear him properly. Picked it up and threw it at the person and ran out. So it's become a police investigation. I think it's really horrible in Singapore. People like that still think that they own the place. I really have to say that it's really, really like the capital insurrection, right? Okay, all these people who, are, who know that they're being left behind, okay, with their homophobic and really archaic beliefs, okay? They, they're really acting out with violence and I think that's not right. I think we really should rally behind small businesses that rally behind the LGBT community, okay? To um, really stamp out this hatred, okay? I think it's really unacceptable. Okay, so... Um so now I'm just going to fill in this tree trunk with um, brown body paint, my Mehron, and we'll move in with highlights and everything later. Okay, yeah, so so that's why Flag Day is important. <laughs> okay, I think um, it really helps to signify support for certain communities. And yeah, so if you do have a pride flag, fly it. Fly, let your freak flag fly, as they say in um, Shrek the Musical. <laughs> okay, so moving on... Um, Oh yeah, and Kamora, when she did her tree thing, she had this quite cute um, leaf leaf eye makeup and <laughs> padded completely, even though she was doing green screen. I thought that was quite extra and quite funny that she was completely padded because when, when no one would see it anyway, she could have just had boy body as they said. But that was very funny seeing her there with the nipples and everything in a green bodysuit. I'm very sad to see, see Kamora go, but I think you could tell. And you know, I don't know what it is. You know, Asian queens just seem to always get... um booted out early, okay? They always seem to have some sort of storyline where they have, um, they don't come up to their parents, their community doesn't approve of their drag, and then they get booted up, okay? Okay, moving on. Okay, and then they start getting ready for their trains, trains, trains for days runway. And during the makeup session, uh, makeup session, the makeup session, <laughs> I was actually quite intrigued by um, Candy Muse doing this huge blown out eye. It looked really, really bizarre on her during the during the makeup session, but uh, on Twitter, she has tweeted that apparently she was trying something new. And I think she's actually trying to try Got Mix makeup, okay, with her brown eye. She looked a bit harsh, but I think on stage it actually kind of worked. And she, of course, she didn't have brows, but, you know. So she didn't look as nice and soft as she, did, as she does usually, but kudos for her for trying something new. 
it's nice to see the queens inspire each other to do really different things. Okay, and here Tamisha gets more storyline again about her, her biological family. And she talks about her daughter, who she has a drag name after. So that's pretty cool. They're really showing Tamisha a lot of respect on Drag Race 13, right? They're, they're really showing um, her legacy and her family and everything. I was really hoping that they would show the same to Joe Black on Drag Race UK, you know? He's, he's very established and he's a really seasoned performer too and I wish that they would have shown more of that on the UK season. Okay, so that looks tree-like. I'll add more details later. Oh, and in the challenge, um, Utica was giving me a lot of very Lily Tomlin energy, don't you think? She looked like Lily Tomlin and her, dra and her actions and her outfit also. I thought it was very, very Lily Tomlin-esque. I think for, for a tree, I'm going to use more warm browns today. I'm, so to start off with, I'm going to go in with this bronzer, this Morphe bronzer. This is Trailblazer. Let's put this all over first. This is for a base color. Okay, um, NW45. And for the train runway, I, I really like Tina Burner. Tina Burner's runway was really nice, like the train conductor outfit. Candy Muse was ob obviously not nice. She had this cobbled together last minute. And it seems like Candy Muse, Tina Burner, and Godmik are becoming fast friends. Okay, um, Godmik's outfit wasn't very nice either. It looked really unfinished and really sheer. Okay, not much of a train. I think she was trying to go for some sort of Victoria's Secrets thing. But yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really like Godmik's outfit either. And her makeup wasn't very good, I think. It looked quite messy near the nose, so I'm not sure whether that was, you know, whether she was rushed or something. Didn't look the best. Okay, it seems that Godmik actually had a train conductor outfit too, and she let Tina Burner go ahead with hers, and she did this last minute trans flag thing as a backup. So that's a bit worrying, okay? It seems like um, Godmik is letting her friends get in her way. I mean, she's she was helping Candy Muse with her outfit and let Tina Burner take uh, take the train conductor idea. In the meantime, she's she's wearing something that's not the best and her makeup was also looked a bit rushed. So I think Godmik might have a little bit of a miscongeniality downfall coming up, maybe. I don't know. Back to the video. Okay, I'm deepening everything up a little bit now, just to just so I can go in with some highlights and some lines later. So I'm using Tati Beauty um, Ritual, the matte ritual for the eyes, okay? Let's get this brown all over. This is much more pigmented. Oh, and um, I think Olivia Lux also looks amazing on the runway. I was actually considering doing Olivia Lux's uh, makeup for this, for this look, but I couldn't find the gold applique that she was using on the eyes. She looked really, really good today. So I think she was a top snatch this week too. Okay, so the leaf, leaf motif. The critics are pretty much all pretty much expected. Nothing too exciting here. Untucked, of course, they showed some crying by um, by Kamora. Kamora probably knows it's her time, okay? She's been struggling a little bit the last few episodes, even when everyone was safe. Um, and you know, I feel for her because she feels that she's giving her all, but she just can't connect, okay? And sometimes you really, I don't know, maybe it's experience or something. Maybe she, she really hasn't performed enough to tell when she's connecting or not because I used to feel this way too um, w whenever I perform I feel like I was really giving my all and connected and everything but it doesn't come across to the audience and sometimes your self-awareness might be you know not all there and it's difficult in the moment to tell so I feel really feel for her and I hope she gets a due and then intact Candy Muse talks so much, my god, she's just talking and talking and talking and she didn't stop. It's almost as if she's um, a plant by the producers or something, or the producers have been telling her to, to really go off. <laughs> you can see the girls, the looks and the faces, all just staring at her, watching her go on and on. I'm just going to go in now to contour the nose a little bit more of the even darker, darker shade, the darkest in the NYX palette. And then highlight, make sure these parts are highlighted. Maybe you're a tree, but you're still beautiful. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the lines all over my face. So going back to my brown pencil, which I used to sketch this, just gonna go in and draw all the wood grain. Meanwhile, where am I? Okay, I got my notes. Yeah, Candy talks a lot. There's this part where to Denali, I pity the fool who, who, who will go up against you. 
<laughs> and they immediately cut to Kamara. So you know, they, they, they telegraph quite a lot in this show. Okay, so I'm just going to start drawing lines. I'm going to try to follow the contour yeah, and then some swirls like that. And in Untucked, they also showed a scene where the girls go outside and they're wearing these face shields. Completely useless, these face shields. I mean, Simone's just holding it in front of her face. There's no point, right? I mean, if there's coronavirus anywhere, it would be leaking out the sides. But they do try to make it a point to show that they're doing all the COVID protocols. They even showed a small scene of someone getting temperature checked. Yeah, so um, they're preparing for the lip sync. I thought it was quite cute um, seeing Yurika top up Nani's hairspray. The Nani's hair is quite nice, the big green mohawk. Yeah, and they lip sync and Kumara unfortunately could not lip sync in that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dragon dress. She, she, I guess she knew also and um, I think unlike All Stars, they don't let them change in between. So it's unfortunate that she had to try to keep up with Denali, who was doing an amazing job, huh? bucking and spinning and everything. And RuPaul gave her the win almost immediately. I think the writing was on the wall for Kamara for a very long time, sadly. So yeah, quite sad to see Kamara leave. And as you leave, you can see um, Got Mix Station, I think is opposite Denali's at the entrance. And you can see two wigs up there that are Reflective, I think that's for the makeover challenge. This pastel lavender wigs that got me going to be using for her makeover challenge if she makes it that far. She probably does. I think got, got makes really um, poised to be top four. Just doing some shapes under the eyes just to direct, direct the eye towards my eyes. Make sure this is sharpened. Okay, and so now I'm using a small pencil brush. I'm going to go in and start smudging out some of these lines, okay, so they don't look so harsh. Okay, yeah, so that was Drag Race 13. All right, I think I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to smudge out some of these and try to clean up some of the lines off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so painted all this in, tried to color in uh, and color in all that black. And now I'm just adding some highlights to some of this lighter brown in my other Meron palette. Okay, so it looks like um, Real Tree. And I was just watching Timisha Iman's new um, talk show that she has on YouTube. Um, and she actually had Elliot uh, with two T's on and they talked, you know, obviously all the editing when they were having all this like beef in the workroom doesn't exist anymore. Okay, they're all really good friends. And I was very heartened to know that um, she has adopted Kamara Hall as a daughter because Kamara Hall, I think, is going to start doing pageants, which I think is amazing. Okay, she's so beautiful and I think she's going to do really, really well. Okay, so um, yeah, Kamara Hall is now Kamara Hall Iman. Check, uh, check out the interview. Tampisha Iman has really shown that she's really the mother of this season. She's really um, rallying behind the girls and really giving them all the shout outs. I think that's really beautiful. Okay, and she also says during this interview that she uh, she joined Drag Race for the sisterhood. And I think if I ever joined Drag Race, that's the reason why I would do it too, because of the of all the amazing people I'd meet and all the collaborations I'd be able to do. I think that'd be so fun. Just gonna leave that for now. Go, gonna go back to my face. I'm just gonna make this, smoke this out a little bit. I'm gonna add some black to this here, okay? So it gives me some depth. Oh, and also Denali has released a music video of her dancing to the same song they lip sync to and featured a whole bunch of Chicago queens. Really, really nice, okay? And she gave Kimora a nice long segment as well. So that was very nice to look at too. So I check, I check that out too, I'll link them down below. I'm using this brown, the Ritual Metallic, just to give myself a little bit of an inner corner highlight. So let's talk about Drag Race UK now, in my notes. I think Drag Race UK was actually a lot more fun, okay? This musical challenge is exactly the kind of challenge that I would like to do. And Veronica Green really has proved, proved me wrong again, okay? I rated her quite low during my review for the season 2 Queens, but she's actually amazing. I think she's quite smart, okay? She does this really big contrasting. Her confessional looks, she does this nerdy, almost like a Seymour Crowborn kind of look, and then she transforms into a drag queen. I think that's what RuPaul likes, so this huge contrast 
between the boy self and the drag queen. Okay, so I think that's um, that's very smart and she I, I think she's going to go really far. She won this week's challenge, of course. She sang really, really well and she had this amazing gag where she had all these ba uh, baby rats suckling on her nipples. This episode was full of trade as well. So many cute guys in, in the UK. The, from the Brit crew member to a horror and taste, you know, getting it on. I think that was quite quite sexy. And taste is really, really hot. This is the brown glitter. It's a bit dried up already. And of course, taste was voted <laughs> as trade of the season. And I agree. I think taste is really, really hot. Lawrence Chini seems to have a lot of insecurities, right? From last week, he didn't dare to take off his makeup in front of the girls. And this week, he has he broke down during the musical rehearsal. He is quite young, like 23. Hopefully, he will get some sort of arc where he redeems himself. Actually, I didn't think Lawrence Cheney did that bad during the challenge. The way he channeled his own... I mean, he couldn't sing, so he channeled this kind of shouty thing during the, the his, his number. That, that I think that worked very well. I was surprised that he was in the bottom. Okay, but I didn't like his runway. His runway looked a bit ill-fitting. And Cherry Valentine, of course, had an extended mirror moment. Okay, once that happened, that, okay, she's going home. <laughs> she had his not long story about being gay in a, in a very small town. So that was quite telling that they were going to get rid of her. Okay, her makeup on this, on this season is still a little bit rough around the edges, but obviously she's improved tons since then. I thought she was going to go very far. I think she was, I pegged her as one of the top queens and she was using a Jeffree Star mirror, right? And they had to black out <laughs> the back. But all the girls on Drag Race season 13 were also using Jeffree Star products. Okay, a lot of Jeffree Star products. I think um, Simone was using a Jeffree Star Morphe product and all of them were using the mirrors. He has definitely since fallen from grace since then. I mean, I, I don't even dare to use Jeffree Star stuff now on this channel. All right, so for lips, I'm going to use my dark brown mudslide. Yeah, and during the performance, I actually thought Sister Sister was quite good. Um, Bimini Bambulash was really, really good. And if unfortunately, her, her runway did mark her down quite a lot, okay, because she was trying to do this um, splatter paint, okay, from the balloons, and but the balloons didn't splatter well, so that failed, okay, if that worked, she would probably have been in the top this week. Okay, um, Ellie Diamond looked breathless, okay, compared to Taste. I thought Taste looked pretty okay, but I guess she was like, you could, you could see the gears turning, but Ellie, Ellie Diamond looked like she was um, breathless most of the time during, during their number. I thought Tia Coffee sang very well, and I thought um, Jeannie Lemon also had a very good character musical theatre voice, so all of them really, really put on a really good show, okay? I think, I think this is one of the better mu musical challenges. Okay, I'm going to try to use this nude lipstick, Gerard Cosmetics in nude. For this runway, they did a surprise, surprise runway, okay? And they had to basically do a reveal. I thought they were all okay. I think Jeannie Lemon was quite funny when she revealed to the exact same dress except for the colour in the back. <laughs> that was quite smart. Uh, I didn't really like Estina Mandela. She just did, basically did a Mylena from Mortal Kombat and just revealed the mouth and the mouth was wrong. That wasn't Mylena's mouth. Mylena so has to go all the way up to there, okay? And you probably have to draw on the teeth instead of putting on this weird prosthetic. That wasn't very nice. But her eyes look really good. Her eye makeup was amazing for that. Uh, Ellie Diamond had a triple reveal and I thought that was quite smart, except the dresses were really quite simple. And so in the bottom were Cherry Valentine and Taste. okay? Taste re tried to do all these reveals, but it kind of fell flat. And, and I think they really wanted to put her in the bottom to shake her up, okay? I was really quite scared because there is this rumour that some queen in Drag Race UK actually curses at the dr judges during um, deliberation. And when I, and before I saw this, I actually accidentally scrolled through Instagram and I saw some pictures, saw some pictures of Taste looking really angry on the runway. And I thought this was that moment, okay? So I was really very quite scared for Taste. But good thing she got through and good thing we're going to see her next week. Okay, next week's a ball challenge and they have to make their own outfits. So I think that's going to be quite exciting. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm almost done. I'm going to throw on a lash, maybe some more glitter, and I'll be back with the finished look. And this is the finished look, Woodland Nymph, rolling in the leaves. <laughs> Alright, who are your top snatches and scratches of the week from both US and UK franchises? Very sad to see Kumara go, that she was the only Asian queen in both seasons. Okay, so um, hopefully they'll do better next time and have more Asian queens on, because we need more Asian representation, okay? I think, you know, the reason why all these Asian queens don't connect is because they probably have a little bit of 
you know, non-acceptance because of their family and their social situation. So hopefully this will change throughout the years. All right? So how do you like this tree makeup? We were all rooting for us. We were rooting for us. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. <laughs> right, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell for post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a new video, all right? Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm the top three of the week. Fake leaves have gone a long way. <laughs> Use them in many looks. my other videos. I did a Joe Black tribute there and a conscious beauty here where I try to look at a natural woman. Alright, see you next time. Bye.